want to say that I'm so excited to have you in studio because I feel like so. we have never really chopped it up uh, yeah. outside of like what we just talk about day to day. Thank you. Um, thank you. So I think for me today, I'm gonna I'm looking forward to learning so much from yes. you. Okay. Um, I think we should start with the game yes. before yes. Ninge Kwezi Maswali because guys, I'm ready. I'm <laughs> ready. ready. Kabisa, kabisa. So we usually have a game on the show right here. It's called the warm up. Yes. The, uh, I don't know if he slid the cup to you. We call it Maswali. Mm-hmm. Oh, me I thought this was trash. Uh, Z. <laughs> the question. <laughs> Hizo maswali, but zinaeleke yo enyeo ya trash na kidi. Ukiyo zile atuko zijibu bibaya inaeleke yo edeo. But this is the warm up. Just pick a question to jibu, to flow na yo, to okay. jivle unafil. So the warm- disclaimer, disclaimer. Yeah. To all the people I love, this is entertainment. Oh, oh my god, there's nothing bad actually. Ini ile po, isi ile ya turn to page 6 for <laughs> the full story. Nah. Ah no. <laughs> what? It's not a I'm bad so question. I'm so excited. <laughs> Inasema aje bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> Yo, this is not the week to ask me such a question, but uh-huh. if you get, if you could get sex advice from any Kenyan artist, yeah. who would it be? Eh, uh, manze musioka ume interact na artist wengi pale kwenye booth, nini, personal uh-huh. friends. Ni nani unaona anaweza kupatia the best sex advice? None. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, oh. <laughs> take a minute. Okay, take acha, a minute. Acha fikiri, acha fikiri, acha just... najua, najua, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Did you ever have a crush on your teacher? Definitely. Ah, kuna unamkumbuka jina unakumbuka? Mbaya, mbaya. Alikuwa anaitwa? Eh. Lenana class uh-huh. of 90 something. Uh-huh. <laughs> alikuwa teacher of practice ama alikuwa tu mode mode? <laughs> alikuwa alikuwa DJ Ingo. Ah. Alikuwa Mrs. Mganga. There is no changerian. Yeah, yeah. Who never crashed on Mrs. Mganga? Yeye ndio alikuwa kusema. Mbaya. Eh. Basi kwenye kikombe tu tena. Moja, bro. one more. One more. Eh, one more, oh, one more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is zingine tupiga baadaye. Ah, what one Kenyan song you'll never skip ni Nanoki? Oh, Nina no, please. Why would you okay. choose this song, bro? That song changed my life. How did it change your life? Let's give us a story. Because that, that that's a song that made me realize I was doing. Sorry. Oh yes. You're <laughs> doing I'm doing some sorry. bad things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. There's a day there was a group I was producing called X Y Z. Yes. Alex and Santos, big up. Mm-hmm. So we were performing at Carnival for Miss Kenya, I think something, something by Dimples Entertainment. So tukaenda pale tumejichocha na song zetu tumezi perform nini nini mm-hmm. the, the mixes didn't sound really bad but okay. I didn't know how bad my mixes were <laughs> Then nameless came on stage and put Nina Noki you know I went, to, I went in the car I cried wow. what? I asked myself what am I doing wrong uh-huh. I went talk to my mom I withdrew all my savings and went but I, I went to see Lucas okay Ogopa. Eh, Ogopa. to just see what he was doing that I wasn't doing. Lucky. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> so I went and got softwares from him. I rearranged my entire workflow. And you know nice. the next song I did after after listening to Nanoki? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Dandora Love. And uh, one of the acts that's going to be performing at the 27th edition of Koroga yeah. Festival on the 21st yes. are the Decimators. They are, of course, wow. signed to uh, uh, Musyoka's label. Musyoka. And Musyoka says he's putting them through work. Work. Yeah. Work. <laughs> how, how many times do they rehearse in a week? This week we've rehearsed twice okay we, we, we do what we call a spotting session then we do a rehearsal mm. what's a spotting session for somebody who's curious going through the list of songs mm-hmm. which acts are coming in at what point mm-hmm. the duration of the set okay then now we go to the actual rehearsal with the full with the band okay yeah. and are you going to be like the conductor like you're going to make sure the sound is on point <laughs> <laughs> music director yes hey. music director is there a song that's out there that you wish you produced you made Balance by Nyash. Oh, oh. Ah, Sedo. Yeah. <laughs> Sedo <laughs> next time, but <laughs> <laughs> And why is that? Why would you pick such a song as uh, Balance by Nyashinsky? Because it's a very unique style. Nice. For Nyash. Mm. And um, I don't know, it, 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 it has this kind of, it, it really speaks to yeah. me in, in, in a very technical sense. Nice. So I, I feel like I, I can just jam with it to a point that, you know. Okay. And decimate it. <laughs> <laughs> Plug in. And there's a huge new wave of like artists that are out yeah. now. Who whose flow are you really liking? And you can't pick someone that you signed. <laughs> of course it has to be someone. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Like there could be some other people yeah. that you're really admiring. Okay. Yeah. Um X ray of Bundok's gang. Okay. Ah, nice, yeah. nice. And uh Benzima. Uh-huh. Uh Ochungulo. Yeah. Ochungulo, yeah. Okay, okay, uh, that's dope, pretty. Dope. Mm. For me, every time you do a new song, you're yeah. doing something afresh. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's never the same. You see accounting. One million will always be a million. True. Mm-hmm. 
today tomorrow forever mm. but with music dandora love keroro yeah. you guy brings to my young those are very different songs. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. each has its own different character and flavor so oh. it's always something different walk us through the process of how you create the score to a movie okay when you when you're scoring you mm-hmm. go through the same session called a sporting session with the directors nice. you identify the cues mm-hmm. that are going to be in the in the movie mm-hmm. but you, f- you tend to find that also the directors have certain temp music that they've used to drive the scene. Mm-hmm. So most of the time you'll be told either to recreate something similar mm-hmm. or to change the tone of the music mm-hmm. and the, and the direction because music in film drive it's purely emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it just what drives the emotion, nothing else. That's all it does. So it can either make the scene funny, mm-hmm. it can give it a sense of suspense, tension, it can make it, you know, aggressive. So that's what just music does in a film. Okay. What would you say to any artist who's out there who's thinking, I want to make it. I'm not signed on a label. What are some key pointers that they could focus on maybe? Okay, one you don't need a label mm-hmm. to make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can you can make it on your own. But one, first you must understand your audience. That's the biggest biggest pitfall for most artists. They think the people they sing to and say you're good is their audience. Yeah. But your friends will never say no to you. Mm-hmm. So you have to identify your audience and be very realistic in your approach. Second, you must understand the business side of music. Is this thing a hobby or is it I'm not going to do it for the long run? So, once you identify those two things, you're good to go. Ah, okay, I like that. I love when you could Because once once you identify your market, yeah. mm. it influences your kind of product. Mm. Yeah. And then when you go to the business side of things, it influences your advert- I mean your promotion, your yeah. dealing, your and and everything else on the back end of it. Would you advise an artist especially to know the other side of it? Siku to atungo I mean that's where you should start first. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean MCSK is left up and all that. Yes. Stuff. I mean that's beyond us as artists mm-hmm. because that, that that's not policy. That's something politics. Yeah. No, that's pure politics. Okay. But on the business side of things, first you must understand what copyright laws are. Who owns your masters? Who publishes for you? Where your revenue streams coming from? Mm. And such things. Okay. So you should have those things in place in place before you even consider doing anything it's very important for you to do that okay. even if you don't understand that get somebody who understands that and try and learn from that person what's mm-hmm. the one thing about music that you want to learn that you feel like oh hapa sijui nataka tu nisome some more actually at this point mm-hmm. really i don't think there's nothing i don't know oh wow yeah. nice. okay. i like that i, I probably just yeah. expand my knowledge when new things come up mm-hmm. yeah but but in terms of learning actually i've noticed i've like kind of plateaued mm-hmm. yeah, i've really kind of plateaued now unless there's a new technology that i just need to research about there's a new like i'm learning a lot about how to do music business in this current environment oh, because nice. it has really changed no no there, there are no cds there are no physical albums yeah the entire streaming service module the 360 mm-hmm. deals those are things that you just keep now it's just a matter of just keeping and adding knowledge when nice. the dynamics of the industry change but in terms of what is software and that The, that you have down packed mm. and I, as a creative is there are times that you hit a creative block and how do you get out of that oh, creative yes, I block did. i did when uh, <laughs> when the contract with pune ended in 2014 mm-hmm. i could not produce anybody oh. for like 2 3 years why because i just didn't know what to do anymore okay and and when pune left i didn't have an artist at the moment they were they were the last artist like as in i was working with yeah. that time mm-hmm. So that time that's the time I did the Saudi Souls album Jibuta Shui is Alani mm. so I just focused on something that didn't require me to really think and create content per mm. se so that just keep myself busy in the music scene and just try now look for new talent that's when I found Brian Adra on Cordia No, oh, it's nice. And let me ask you about this Musioka. Every time I see him, I hear Musioka, I yeah. turn the volume even louder because I know it's it's going to be a big <laughs> tune. Can I just talk about the tag first of all? There someone who did the Musioka for you? Is it you yourself you're just like, oh, "Wacha Musioka?" Or was there any other ideas to the tag you have? Okay. I don't believe in tagging. Okay. Actually, I never tag. Another it's not a tag. It's mm. it's an artist who says it. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, Musioka. And the first artist to say that thing was Bonai. Mm. Yeah. So Bon I said it and everybody else who records just says it. It just says so, it. <laughs> but it's not that you attack that I ah, go to the software and yeah and, and, and place but um recently to Leona Ngoma ya Ethic Pale Figa it yeah. was uh, brought down because of yeah. copyright ni 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 um what can you tell this new generation of producers who are really trying to be on that new wave but not right taking the right channels. Okay right now sampling is almost impossible mm. without clearing. 
Okay. Because 98% of the time, not 98, 100% of the time your content is going to go on YouTube. Yeah. And there's something we call DRM, digital rights management. And YouTube tags those things. So if it identifies the metadata and the content yeah. from another sample, it will automatically stop you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kitambo, you could get away with it. <laughs> but you have to clear. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've, I've sampled a lot yeah. in my career. And I've, I've, I always clear my samples. Nice. Always. In fact, right now, we did an album for Jack Rooster. And one song has a sample from a guy called Chuck Roberts. Mm-hmm. And that sample, in a Shindwa, were cleared for us to upload the content on YouTube. Okay. And we've already paid for everything. But the publisher, on the other hand, hasn't finished their paperwork. Uh. So we, we can't upload that content. You guy, you got the clearance from uh, King Jammy's music in London. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We cleared. Nice. Yeah. So and when in Saudi Soul, uh, Shake Your Bam Bam, we mm. cleared with Awilo. Mm-hmm. There's a producer by the name of Jules. Yeah. He produces for Mr. Easy. And he said something in an interview recently where he said, music these days is like a science. You can't just be putting out music just because. Yeah. Is that how you feel as well with the oh, environment oh, that oh, we're definitely. in in Kenya? It has always been a science. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Timing is everything. I'll give you an example. We did a song with Punit called Love. Yes. The song came out at the wrong time. Oh. It's a fantastic song, but... Terrible timing. Terrible, terrible, terrible timing. Yeah. Uh, and do you feel like you've ever felt like reaching out to artists who are just putting out music to just tell them, boss? <laughs> Rudy took a drawing board. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. You have? <laughs> oh, many times. Oh, wow. Sometimes, yeah. There's that thing. There's like, born away. especially mm. these new kids. You know what on Twitter was I? Mm. But <laughs> King Kaka said something very profound. Okay. To this date, I always remember. Mzaya meka chini wanambali kuliko kijana mesimama. True. Yeah. So, because we have experienced and we've seen how things work. For example, there's an artist, former, former artist called Jaguar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did a song called Kigeu Geu. Yep. That song came out the right time, right, as in everything. Mm-hmm. So, you must have a strategy of how you're going to release this thing. Don't just shabalagala. You just like a Um. Everybody has been talking about how Sailor's music is on Molly Rachel's channel. What's your take on this? Do you feel like there's some form of exploitation? I, I don't know. I would she's not l- investing in them. Is she going to make her money? Mm. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it sitting there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, all artists for Decimal Records, it sits on Decimal Records channel. Mm-hmm. Probably Mwalimu Rachel should just create a label and call it MRX mm. Records and that content sits there. People just have an issue with Mwalimu Rachel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. title. Mm-hmm. Not where the content sits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. She has every right to own that content. If she's not paying for it mm. until they pay her back. Uh-huh. What's the worst thing you've ever spent your money on? <laughs> yeah. Shoes. Shoes. I have to <laughs> Wow. Oh, phew. I'm going to come on now. So I need to say that. Hey, hey. Name a better threesome than chips, kuku, na soda. Okay, I can't go in somewhere else. Better threesome than chips, kuku, na soda. Avocado? Mm-hmm. Gideri? Mm-hmm. Na maji. Guy. Guy, yo chakule ko dry. Kiko kavu. Watu mumezao ni metoka watu. Ay, 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 ay. Kukambani. 